Delta State Governor and PDP Vice Presidential Candidate is here at Ogba for camp to see those directly affected by the ravaging flood which has sacked many people in different communities of the 19 local government areas affected by the flood in the states. The people seemed happy to see their governor in what is now their new homes. These children are being taught here to keep them engaged and as a makeup for the lost time since the flood has taken over their homes and schools. The governor left there for another camp to encourage the over 1,600 people as he prayed for them but the people, including these nursing mothers, lamented of their losses. <laughs> At Ewulu camp, the wife of the governor is already there to carry out the same tasks as her husband. Unfortunately, despite the efforts of the government, some lives were lost. And the governor gives more updates as he calls for permanent. Zamfara has been in the news in the last few days for the wrong reasons following a resurgence of banditry, kidnapping and political clashes. Communities in the state have suffered the brunt of banditry for over 13 years. Three local government councils, nine township roads, weekly markets and other sensitive areas were recently shut down due to bandits' activities. The state government is worried by this development. It says Boko Haram and Iswap insurgents now have camps in the state. Addressing a press conference in Guso, Chairman of the State Committee on the Prosecution of Banditry and Related Offenses, Abdullah Shinkafi, says 80 suspects were arrested. And there are also some security reports around NGM Kachin Kelko, Iswap, are trying also to come to our state. Even Boko Haram insurgents have started having a camp in Mutu, a murder area. And that is why you had that murder also movement was restricted in the murder area. He adds that 1,200 bandits were invited to the state by other bandits to attack 21 communities and the activities of bandit informants led to a recent attack on army troops. 85 suspected bandit informants including their teller were arrested while over 60 motorcycles and weapons were recovered. More than 1,200 armed bandits want to launch a series of attacks in major towns and villages in the state. It was Informa who called the major, the unit commander in Kaura, that Ambandi came to attack Abdoli. And on their way to repel the attack, this Ambandi lay ambush to our gallant soldiers. They were killed. The women gathered here with the theme, Spring Forth, Stand Out, a topic specifically aimed at encouraging them to understand the need to stand out and be exceptional in all their endeavors. The world is indeed in need of solutions and as women, we owe it to ourselves to emerge into better versions of ourselves as we spring forth and keep pushing forward to make a positive difference. Governor Sonwulu, after commending the contributions of women to various philanthropic interventions in the state, urged them not to be deceived by people who don't know what governance is all about come 2023 elections. Things are causing to bind us. How can somebody in today's age be talking about Lagos for Lagos? You can see how myopic some people are. You can say to them that Lagos is larger than anyone can. Lagos is bigger than anyone can. My participating in this conference as it dependent now it is with us. During his goodwill message, River State Governor drum support for Governor Sonwulu's second term. By the grace of God, Mr. Baba Judas Sonwulu, who will be a second time governor, I will not regret to say that I'm in support of you. On behalf of the women of River State, my dear wife, we support this 
so you can continue with the allowable project with a sum of 300 million. Uh